Good morning. Welcome to King of Glory Lutheran Church. It's good to be here together to worship our Lord. Uh, a couple of announcements, just looking through, the, you see the back of the bulletin, our weekly events coming up here, uh, different committees and different Bible studies throughout the week. And I um, think singing here, I don't, I don't see Caden here, so we won't sing to him. But he is coming, though. Well, maybe... Maybe during coffee fellowship time afterwards, you can sing happy birthday to Caden. So, uh, any other announcements to share? I know Al had one, so. I just wanted to, uh, last, this month, I believe, is eight to appreciation month, and last Saturday, or last weekend, last Sunday, was uh, pastor appreciation month, so we were a little behind schedule, <laughs> and we apologize for that, but I just wanted to give you this. Thank you. And your family for all the support and help they've shown us today. And, and let's know we do appreciate your support. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And, and thank you from me and my family how you all have shown your support and appreciation in these last six weeks since our daughter got sick. And, um, and just how you've shown your love for us. It really it has helped us uh, endure and bear with it. So thank you. Uh, any other announcements to share? So, yeah. Any other announcements? So, Should, no, he's he's there. So I think we can we can get him as he comes in right now. So, so we, we do it. We do have one announcement that on October twenty fifth it will be Caden Johnson's birthday, <laughs> and he's here. So Chris, take it away. But. We got him. <laughs> yes. It is not. It will be a normal service next Sunday. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there is a change. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, please do. Mm -hmm. So actually, we, I love that we do this every year. It's helping out a lot of children in need there. So, and we, my boys uh, saw them yesterday, insisted we, we couldn't leave without getting some of our own shoe boxes already. So, we're, um, so hopefully your family will have that same insistence of we got we to gotta get ours and be part of it. So. We need to uh, clear the collection. Yeah. yeah. November 12th. So that's our, our final collection date, November 12th. It does come quick. It, it may feel kind of early to be starting this for uh, Christmas, but no, it is not. It's actually, it comes very quick here. So, um, so make your plan to be part of it there and fill those so we can, um, so we can gather those, pray over them, and send them off. So, okay. All right, and if you, hopefully everyone heard Beth's uh, uh, drawing attention to that, next Sunday will be a normal Sunday service. So there'll be change, and I'll send out an email reminder so that you're, not bringing stuff for a confirmation thing next Sunday. So, um, any other announcements before we go? So, so, okay. All right. Well, let's open with our call to worship, which is Psalm 96, verses 1, 8, and 9. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him. 
all the earth. And uh, now let's, uh, we're going to open in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for gathering us here. Thank you for the, the beauty of this day. And we pray that you would lead our hearts into sincere worship of you, that we would receive grace for our needs each day through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. In his name we pray, amen. All right, Chris will lead us in our opening hymn, which is hymn number 82, Oh, What Precious Balm and Healing. Uh, Vern Miller's going to come up for our reading. Please stand for the reading of God's Word. Good morning, everyone. The Old Testament lesson is Psalm 37, 1 through 11. Fret not yourself because of evildoers. Be not envious of wrongdoers, 
for they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way. over the man who carries out evil devices. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. For the evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. In just a little while the wicked will be no more, though you look carefully at his place, he will not be there. But the meek shall inherit the land and delight themselves in abundant peace. The epistle lesson is from Ephesians 4, 26 through 32. Be, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his own hands, so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is for good building up, as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear and not to grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom all were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you. Along with all malice, be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Here ends the reading. Thank you for the reading, Bird. Please be seated. <clears throat> this time we're going to confess our sins together. Uh, they're found on page two of your um, Baptist hymnal or on the words overhead. Almighty God, our maker and redeemer, we poor sinners confess to you that we are by nature sinful and unclean, and that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. Therefore, we flee for refuge to your infinite mercy and ask you for Christ's sake, grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and by your Holy Spirit, increase in us true knowledge of you and of your will and true obedience to your word, to the end that by your grace we may come to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the declaration of grace. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, has had mercy upon us and has given his only Son to die for us and for his sake forgives us all our sins. To those who believe on his name, he gives power to become sons of God and has promised them his Holy Spirit. He who believes and is baptized shall be saved. Grant this, Lord, to us all. Amen. Okay, so now we come to our, our time to prayer, to share prayer requests, uh, answers to prayer, updates, new prayers. Um, so are there prayer requests to share? <clears throat> 